Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to do a flawless hem using the band roll technique. So first I will show you how to prep the band roll and eventually we'll be doing an alteration on a dress shirt, so stay tuned. Here are the materials you're going to need. This is called a band roll interfacing tape. Many sewing manufacturers make it, so just look around. You're going to need a ruler, a seam ripper, scissors, and obviously a sewing machine. So let me show you how to prep this. Basically, you're going to have to roll out the tape so that its circumference matches the circumference of the hem that you're doing. So for this purpose, I'm just practicing, so I'm cutting a little bit off like so. And now I'm going to show you how to prep your band roll if you're going to do a very narrow hem that's 1 16th of an inch. So I'm taking my seam ripper and I'm sticking the little needle in between a tiny hole at the top and I'm ripping off a thread. Then I'm going to measure to see. So try to do this step back and forth where you rip a thread and then you measure. So you get it to your desired length. I'm just going here again and doing so and I will measure accordingly so that it's all the same here. As you can see here, it's 1 16th of an inch so it's perfect and now we're going to go ahead and sew our very narrow hem. So what I'm going to do, I have this piece of fabric here and I decided to choose a thread color of white so you could see what I'm doing better. But essentially, I'm placing the tape at the edge and I'm going to place my needle and my foot of the machine right in the middle. And here you can see better where I'm sewing, which is just kind of right on top. And I'm going to sew all the way down. Then I'm taking my scissors and I'm cutting this little excess material. This is very important to do before we continue to do our hem because if you skip this step it's going to look quite bulky. Now we get to fold it over like so. This is what it looks like up close and next we get to sew. The beauty of the band roll technique is that it basically controls your hem. If you didn't have the band roll tape, you know it's very tough to do a narrow hem because you have to keep controlling the same width all the way throughout and it's quite challenging. But the band roll just does it for you. Now I'm sewing all the way throughout and you can see in white where I stitched and it looks quite nice on top. So next is the fun part, we're basically just going to pull this. And the little transparent part, the little hairs are so thin that it actually just slides through the threads. And this is what it looks like up close, a beautiful narrow hem done easily and perfectly. Next I'm going to show you how to prep the band roll if you're doing a hem that's 1 8 of an inch. So again I'm taking my seam ripper and I'm sticking that in through the little holes of the tape and then I'm pulling the threads. Here I'm strangling a little bit and I decided to show you this because sometimes it doesn't glide so perfectly so it's okay if you struggle a little bit when you're doing this. But basically I'm just going to continue this process of pulling it. And once I start reaching around my desired length, that's when I start measuring to make sure that it's exact. Here you can see that it is 1 8 of an inch, so now I'm ready to move on to my sewing. I want you guys to become pros at this, so as you can see here, I'm doing the same thing. I'm placing the band roll at the edge, and I'm just going to sew along, so here we go. Next I'm cutting the excess material so that it doesn't get too bulky when we fold it over. Now I can finally fold this and start to sew. Here is what it looks like, nice and up close. It looks very uniform all throughout. The band roll technique is really magnificent. That's what the hem looks like. 
And now I'm going to prep a quarter inch. Um, it's pretty much the exact same process. I'm just sticking in the needle and I'm going to do this. And here I do it all the way throughout. Make sure to measure along the way. You don't want to go too much. But here it's one quarter inch. So I'm not going to show myself sewing this quarter inch hem because I believe you guys are already becoming pros at this. But I do want to let you know that we have another vlog that I will link in the description box where we did a beautiful hem using the band roll technique and that's a half inch. So you can see just how great this looks on other things. Next up, we're going to do our alteration of our dress shirt hem. I decided to use this because you can see it's actually curved, so it's not straight. And the beauty of the band roll technique is that you can do it with curved hems as long as it's a narrow hem. Now I'm marking my lines. I'm making sure to draw perpendicular lines at each edge. It's very important to do perpendicular lines because when you actually wear the shirt, it's going to look nice and rounded at the corners and not pointy. So again, I'm using my ruler to basically make a parallel curved line. I'm cutting off one inch overall and it's going to have a quarter inch hem. Now I'm taking my handy dandy scissors and I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And now we're ready to move on to sewing with our beautiful band roll technique. So again, I'm grabbing my tape and I'm going to go ahead and place it on like this. Place it along the edge and I'm going to start sewing just as we did before. Now with the curves, it still works perfectly. You just need to align the tape up to the edge. So it does look beautiful with curves. Just one thing to remember, when you do a curved hem, you have to make sure that it's going to be a narrow hem. If you have a wide hem, it's not going to look good. Think of this analogy. If you want to draw a nice parabola, a nice curve, and you can only make it using straight lines. If you have very long lines, it's not going to look smooth. It's going to look like zigzags. Whereas if you had a lot of tiny little straight lines, you can make it look like a nice curve. So this is what you want to keep in mind when you're doing a curved hem. Try to keep it narrow and not wide. So I'm just adjusting the band roll at each step to make sure it's on the edge. Right here, I'm going to fold over the band roll as we've done before. So now I am sewing again, making sure that it's even all the way throughout. Now this is my favorite part, I now get to pull the band roll and it's very satisfying to do this. So this is what it looks like, but we're not quite done yet. The next step is ironing and it's very important to iron. Even though it already looks good, nothing looks quite as fresh and great as when you iron a hem. So I'm using this technique. I'm trying to make sure that I iron mostly from top to bottom rather than side to side because when you do side to side, it tends to stretch it out a little bit more, whereas we just want it to look nice and crisp. But seriously, I love the band roll technique. I didn't know it before and I used to waste lots of time just going over and trying to do very narrow hems, keeping it parallel all throughout. But once you do the band roll technique, it's so easy and so great. And as you can see, these are my final results. It's very in unison all throughout and it's also very flat when you look at it from the side. I love it, it looks fantastic. If you haven't already, make sure to watch our vlog where we did a hem on this vintage gown using the band roll technique. Hey guys, I hope that you like this video on how to do the band roll technique. It gives you flawless results for a straight hem, but even curved hem 
if they are not too wide. If you like this video, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.